If you're thinking about moving to Roswell, Georgia, and you wanna learn more about this area, then this video is for you. Hi guys, my name is Paulina. I'm a realtor here in North Atlanta, and today we are going to be exploring Roswell. We're gonna to go to different restaurants, we're gonna to go to different parks, also a new subdivision, and we're also going to drive through a couple of schools. So if you're interested, then keep watching. Our first stop will be Crazy Love Coffee House. This is such a cute place. They not only sell coffee, they also have a market going on. So they have like jewelry, they have t-shirts, they also have some cute um, gifts. Um, you can also find um, items to decorate your house. They have doggy treats. They have some other um, purses from local designers. So that's really cool. I highly recommend you come and check it out. Obviously, they also serve really good coffee. They also have pastries and sandwiches. So, you know, you can also have lunch um, here. You'll see that there's people working, also meeting with friends. So it's just a great, great place to hang out. Um, and they do have some seats um, outside and also indoors if you prefer um, the AC. So check it out. Our second stop will be um, Hill and Dale by Patrick Malloy Communities. This is a new subdivision with 36 home sites. They also offer um, six different floor plans. And what I love about this community is that the HOA covers your lawn care. So if you're wanting to move to a house that has enough square footage, but you don't wanna worry about your yard, this might be the subdivision for you. Also, you know, location-wise, as you saw in the video, it's really close to downtown Roswell. Um, you also have different biking and walking trails close to the community, and um, they are part of an award-winning school district here in Roswell. So if you have any questions about this community, please feel free to reach out.
just made it to Riverside Park. I think this park is very unique because it allows uh, fishing. Um, they do have some fishing docks and you'll see in this video. Um, they also have nice picnic areas, playgrounds. Um, they do have sometimes concerts outdoors. I highly encourage you to go ahead and check out their website to see if they have any of them coming up. And um, they also have free Wi-Fi. So um, if you're looking for a place where you can exercise and also go fishing, this might be the park for you. We are driving through Riverwalk subdivision. This is a new subdivision that they just finished building this year. The pricing in this new subdivision is between um, the high 400s to the high 500s. And obviously these are townhomes that can have, you know, four bedrooms or three bedrooms depending on um, the floor plan. Okay, and we're making a quick stop at East Roswell Public Library. Um, obviously, you can come here and pick up a book. You also have sort of some cubicles that you can uh, reserve uh, for a couple hours and you can um, come out here and study. Um, they also have some events for uh, children. So they have a section where you, you'll see that you can uh, bring your younger kids and they can do homework here. It's really nice and I just absolutely love all the windows around this um, library, especially if you come out here during fall, you get to enjoy all the beautiful trees that are surrounding this library. Alright guys, and we're now arriving to Horseshoe Bend. This is a master plan community. Um, they started building this community in the 1970s. And what I love about it is all the amazing amenities that they have. They have a golf course, they have a clubhouse, tennis court, you name it. They have pretty much everything. And as I mentioned, they started building, building in 1970s, but they also have homes that were built in uh, 2010. And if we are, um, you know, talking about pricing, it, there is a wide range. You could find a house for, you know, the 400s all the way to a million plus. 
Um, and also, as far as um, location goes, this subdivision is so close to 400, which makes it very convenient if you're having to commute to um, different uh, cities in Metro Atlanta. All right, guys, and we are now arriving to Roswell Area Park. This park features art room studio, baseball fields, they have tennis courts, they also have outdoor fitness equipment, a playground, a pond, a pool, they pretty much have it all. We are now arriving to Sweet Apple Elementary School. This school is ranked a 10 out of a 10 according to greatschools.org. They have 778 students and their test scores are above average. We are now in Roswell High School. According to greatschools.org, they are an 8 out of a 10. They have 2,221 students and their test scores are above average.
now driving through Canton Street. Uh, we are about to hit our last stop, which is Salt Factory. Obviously here in Canton Street, you have a lot of different restaurants. I highly encourage you to come visit over the weekend. Um, you can bar hop, you can try different um, restaurants. It's just really fun. Um, and the vibe is, is really nice and friendly. So uh, we're gonna stop and have lunch at Salt and this will be our last stop. guys and that is it thank you so much for watching if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would like to see a video similar to this one from another city here in Georgia please go ahead and comment down below we love to receive feedback we love to hear about your ideas so please go ahead and do that as always I'm gonna be leaving my information at the end of this video and in the comment section if you have any questions that are related to real estate in Georgia please don't hesitate to reach out thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time